I'm just a simple ghost, Van Helsing. But you might want to use your occult abilities to jump back to the commander. And Helsing, right on time. Are we doomed yet? Fear not, lads. Van Helsing is here. Impeccable timing, Hunter. As always, I have a message for you. Count Vlado sends his regards, but he had to leave in a hurry to destroy the Force Walls. You are in charge. Last time I checked, vampires couldn't stand daylight. Oh, he is a modern vampire, defying superstition and spontaneous combustion at the same time. I wouldn't worry for him. I haven't seen daylight for a while in this smoke. Anyway, General Harker is busy preparing his next attack. Are you ready to employ your tactical genius? But of course, I'm quite tactical. And a genius, too. I'll visit the posts and give orders to the men. Kill the killing machines! Mr. Van Helsing, I mean, Commander, sir, armed forces are approaching our positions. Ask for reinforcements and keep your position. Sir, we have fortified our positions. No one will get through here, I swear. C, 
Send out a patrol to support the adjoining posts. Sir, we are under heavy attack. We are under attack by those blasted ornithopters, sir. I'm afraid we can't hold out much longer. Retreat to the second line of defense, and hold your ground. The scouts report our enemies are going to attack from two sides. We're going to stand our ground. Ask for reinforcements from the lair. Ready for battle. Let's attack. Are the troops ready to move out? Absolutely. They're all ready. And you, are you ready to fight? I'm always ready to fight, Commander. I go to the front line and wait there before they attack. Good work, boys, but don't get too comfortable yet. healing potions. I can't do that. It's you, Hunter. Your humble messenger was ripping through the ink, delivering dispatches, witnessing your captain oh so in need of your assistance. Visit them if you can. You know, Van Helsing, I simply can't understand why you trust this faceless creature. Prisoner 7 is here to help. He used to be fooling out his victim after all. Look at him. If he lived under the opera house and played the organ, you'd be the first to hunt him down. Harsh words from an incorporeal being who turns into a raging beast when she's angry. Fine. You had to play the ghost card again.
We manage to hold our ground, but only just. Parker is now familiar with our positions. My scouts tell me that the General is preparing a full-scale artillery attack. I recommend that we send our men back to the second line of defense. I'll give orders for the second line. Are the troops ready to move out? I still have to give out orders to some of the captains. Do you want me to take over? Much appreciated, Commander. But I can manage that much. Sir, if you don't mind me saying, this area is far too open and wide. We are all spread out too thin. Deploy the automated turrets on the higher ground and defend your positions. Crippled General has no chance against us. What an absolutely dreadful morning, sir. It looks to be a fitting day to die. That's the Borgovian spirit, Sergeant. I was just trying to be sarcastic, milady. I do command a strong force here. I'm glad to hear that, Sergeant. Send some of these men to the positions in immediate danger. Resistance soldiers reporting. Sir, we might be a bit outnumbered. We must defend this area at all cost. Ask for reinforcements from the lair. Sir, we cannot hold this position much longer. We should demolish at least one of these elevated rail tracks to stop the enemy. 
You can solve everything in Borgovia by blowing up some bridges. A radical idea. But we don't have any explosives. There is a phlogiston tank right under the rail bridge. If we open the three taps, the gas will burst through the vents, creating flammable clouds. I love blowing up bridges as much as the next Borgovian, but this means that flammable clouds will engulf the whole district, right? The residents have already fled or have been evacuated, which means that we can risk the plan. Let's do this. Troops ready to move out? Absolutely. They're all ready. And you? Are you ready to fight? I'll do another round just to make sure everything is in order. Heavens, they're using the Grand Mortars! Doomed yet? We are holding out, sir, but those blasted Ornithopters are a menace. We should destroy their launch tower before the next attack. Scouts report three control stations in the tower. We might use them to disable those infernal machines. Possibly. But we need someone with proper expertise to do that. Where are the engineers? As far as I know, they are at the weapons depot on the upper factory grounds. All right. I'll see if I can take care of those ornithopters for you. Van Helsing. So, you are in command now. Good question. Is the ship commanding the storm? Don't listen to her. Yes, and I have a task for you. There is an ornithopter launch tower nearby, and it's causing us plenty of grief. If I get you there, can you disable it? Well, I could use some overlords that would shut it down for good, but isn't that thing beyond our defenses? Nah, a few enemy hordes along the way, the odd behemoth here and there. Trust me, it'll be mind-numbingly boring. Don't worry. I'll keep you alive. All right. I place my trust in you, Hunter.
kill the killing machines. Don't have any healing potions. I can't do that. Oh, heavens, they're using the grand mortars. Resistance! Some healing potions would be nice. I need healing I potions.
I need healing potions. Not possible. Ah! I need healing. Oh no, we have lost our engineer. He was a brave man. We must get back his friends. Freedom for Borgovia! Mr. Van Helsing, you're back! But where is my mate? He performed his duty with courage and bravery. But the mission is not complete. We need you to finish what he started. Is he... dead? He... well... He told us to look for you in case he didn't succeed. He also said you were the brains of this operation anyway. I'll prove that by not letting you get me killed. Instead, I will just give you this automated toolbox. Just plug it into the control stations and it will do the rest. Did you see this engineer? Well, he was efficient. I suppose we shouldn't choose the first volunteers. I need healing potions. 